Moving right along for pick 110 in the 2019 FF Dynasties. Mock it up before you fuck it up. The Buffalo Bills. Well, <laughs> no. <laughs> Jay Wayne <laughs> is on the clock for Robbie Adams. Original team name. Went, went with the uh, <laughs> first name. First, last name. first last name combo. <laughs> Didn't even give me like a Robbie's Adams or anything. Like, yeah. At least give me Usually a goes BS. Bobby's World. True. It's right. Usually True. it's go to, right. which was a strong show in the nineties. Um. All right. Well, what's what's Robbie's team got going on <laughs> <It> here? <was. laughs> to hold that freaking tricycle, yeah. kill it. <laughs> oh sure. <laughs> Robbie. Uh, Robbie made the playoffs. Had a good year. Spent most of his startup draft money on a few players. Grabbed uh, Saquon Barkley for the most amount of money Whew. ever. He's got Aaron Rodgers, Jared Goff, so doesn't need both those guys, but has them. <laughs> uh, not much else at the at the running backs position. Uh, I mean, Royce Freeman is probably the second best wa- running back. Adrian Peterson did resign back with Washington, so maybe he gets yeah, a little bit helped, of work he out of him. He helped him but, out through the season here. Uh, but he's got Devontae Adams, Brandon Cooks, DJ Moore to go with uh, Travis Kelsey, so that'll help you win ball games for sure. Uh, he needs a running back, but there's no running back to take here. He doesn't have Gurley. I, I didn't take Daryl Henderson. Uh, he didn't really even come into play for me here, and maybe he should have. I don't. He's know. got Kelsey, so that really yeah bolsters the rest of the squad. It's like having a tight end and a and a flex player in your lineup, yep. tight end premium yeah. there. Cheating. So you got Saquon and 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 Kelsey and Devontae Adams and and Brandon Cooks basically right to go with a Raj and propelling Jared Goff. this team with all its deficiencies. If he could just get a couple other good players, he'd be a nightmare. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Yeah. He really hit a couple home runs there with the old... Uh, he always does. He always has this kind of team. He always has a team with a bunch of bums and then like two or three really good guys that he has no business winning with. Yeah. He well, just, he spent all his money up front. Yeah. You know, he just was like, let me... I think he's out in Hawaii and he's like, let me get this draft over with. Bro, the waves are so good today, bro. Yeah. <laughs> well, he put it in the right place with yeah. Devontae Adams, Saquon, and, and Kelsey. So, are we going to let this build any further? Who the fuck did you take? <laughs> Jesus. By unpopular demand, I'm taking Hakeem Butler. Boo! Hiss! Hiss! Boo! Everyone's booing. Everyone is booing. Nobody likes it. He's he's the one. They're worst. saying it's a reach. He sucks. What are you taking that guy for? Well, why'd you take him, Jay Wayne? You could have had McCall Hardman. You could have had A.J. Brown. You could have had Isabella. You could have had Whiteside. Whiteside. You could have had Hollywood Brown. You could have had any of the running backs left. You could have had Kyle and Murray. Literally anybody. <laughs> but Hakeem Butler, Jay Wayne, what's the reason? Oh, well, there's so many reasons. Come on. Well, list them out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's one of my favorite wide receivers in this class. Uh, I wait th- a minute. Th- but before th- before I go, like I'm I'm he was my number one guy. I'm still huge on Hakeem Butler, so I'm really not that upset about the pick. I'm just voicing the public uh, yeah. court appeal here yeah 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 casey's being joe public over there and so to piggyback on joe public butler didn't go into the fourth round of the nfl draft yeah draft so capital how that's it. could you and end he of, wasn't even the first receiver yeah. taken on his own team end of discussion so yeah. how could you even no like, way how, how could you even like this no guy? way this guy and he's a hands good. catcher no he's a body he's a body catcher, catcher. Hmm. he's got some drops i'll admit that so does everybody else but nobody likes to pinpoint those because they're not as but glaring on tape i mean it, it it's 165 is where he ranks in drop rate that's not it's a good not number good. not a great number there was 11 drops last year on 104 targets so 16 total drops over his career and that's pretty much the biggest knock you can have on him uh but i don't think he's a body catcher necessarily i think he has some concentration drops and it's it's just crazy because he's got a little he bit can, of to in him he makes the ridiculous right. catch and he'll drop an easy one here and there. right and that's 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 something i think he can clean up People don't like him because of the the bad breakout age. He didn't he didn't uh, come on until late. He only had one good season of production, but I mean it was a ridiculous season where he put up. Yeah, I mean, we address all that in, in right. the breakdown of Hakeem Butler. You can find that in a previous podcast or on YouTube, right? Or on our website, you can find everything we've ever said about the guy, right? So, I mean, what are we doing? But here? an We're unfair playing? unfair. Uh, breakout age argument against him. Right, because he's got some background. decent rationale. Right, he, so he's go a check late that bloomer. Out. Yeah, he's a late bloomer, and he went through a lot early on in his life, and he overcame all that to basically get get drafted into the NFL after putting up a, a really nice season with with Iowa State, thirteen hundred yards, nine touchdowns, crushed down the field. First the and Lazard. Yeah, well, whatever. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> I don't care. 
go listen to our breakdown. But basically, I mean, we're playing a game based on a game here. Right. And here's a, here's a six five condor, a pterodactyl, if you will, uh, with just the largest wingspan, height, arm length, hand size, any, anything you want. Uh, really fast, can get behind defenses and score long touchdowns. On top of that, being super versatile, he can crush out of the slot. He 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 was 60th in slot receptions, but 25th in slot yards. So he's crushing it everywhere he lines up. Yeah, he drops some balls, but he also makes some catches that you shouldn't be able to come down with. You can't teach that kind of thing. And I just think he has a ton of upside. I really like what Arizona's trying to do. I really like Kyler Murray. I like the coaching staff. I like I like what Kingsbury's going to try and do here. I think uh, he 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 really. I think Butler fits in great with this four wide scheme because you can't. You can put him all over the place. Yeah. And he knows how to win at all the different levels. He's a great hand fighter off the line of scrimmage. He's got good release moves. He cut, crushes in contested catches. And you get if you got a big guy that's fast and gets behind defenses and scores long touchdowns, sign me up for that. Right. And you got a quarterback that can who can throw. also score short short touchdowns. Right. And, and catch a short ball and take it long because he's nasty. Right. My man's running he's whip He's nasty wraps. in the in the open field. Yep. The yak is is pretty solid. It's hard to bring down. Again, I, you can knock the pick all you want. Yes, you probably could take wait a little longer in most drafts to take Akeem Butler. Yeah. But if this is your guy and you want your guy, go get your guy. I mean, right. And I don't. I'm. I'm you could probably trade back a little bit and and get into right. the second round. And yeah. Probably and bu- get Butler. We're still. not. We're not trading back in this exercise here. We're picking for these teams, and I'm not supposed to be thinking about the fact that I'm picking three picks from now again for a different team. I'm supposed to be this team on this clock. Right. Who do I take? I don't have another pick until the second round, ninth pick overall. Right. In the second round, so like I got to take who I want, and yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I really struggle with it. It took me a he while. Was the I, best, I, uh, I, I think he was the best yards per catch in the or or number two in the nation entire nation. Yards per completion, yeah, sitting nineteen and a half yards, yeah. per catch. He was eighth overall in yards per route run, which is why everyone likes Isabella so much because he was first overall in yards yeah. per route run. And he, here's my man at eighth overall. So, and he's not you know a tiny little guy, and he was actually going up against decent decent competition. So, I mean, I I almost took AJ Brown. I was about to take AJ Brown, and I just kept watching. I kept going back and forth and and weighing pros and cons, and it's just like. This guy can make some ridiculous plays. Not that AJ Brown can't, but I just I get a little bit of an out with the situation that AJ Brown's in because nobody likes that. Yeah. And even though I'm not gonna shit on Mariota like most people will, I mean I'm not I can't just be just because a guy gets fucking hurt doesn't mean he's a trash sandwich or whatever these yeah whatever I mean, the, you've had oh he's trash you've had he's had get opportunities he's had opportunities he's been up and down he just needs a little be a little more he couldn't consistent. feel his hand last yeah. year get out of here but he's been in the league for. Three years he gets hurt a lot. That. You want to say you don't like him because he gets hurt a lot? Okay, but don't say he's a bad quarterback. Think inconsistent, but either neither here nor there. Yeah. I'm with you. I, I'm down with taking Butler. I want to try to get Butler on every single team that I have because I do think that he's an outstanding prospect. I think he can do a lot. I think he'll really blossom into a really solid NFL receiver. Like Just because he got drafted in the fourth round and Isabella got drafted in front of him doesn't mean that pretty much any opportunity that I've had in the top of the second I'll take Butler over Isabella all day long. Like that's just my personal preference. Like I, maybe I could trade a couple of well, picks, but I want I'm I want sure as much Butler as I can get because I believe in in the guy. Sometimes you you know we're not drafters, we're not GMs, but I mean even in DLF IDP ADP, Hakeem Butler's going ahead of Isabella. Well, throw all the ADP out the window until you get on the clock. But when you sometimes teams take draft for safety sometimes teams draft for need and a little bit of a combination of those things where were the jamon moore lovers when mvs was blowing up last year nobody was like oh well jamon yeah, moore got drafted to reese fountain you know no, right nobody was talking about jamon moore getting drafted ahead of mvs when mvs was doing work or and then esb he, who saw the it, field more than him and then and then obviously it's been it's been brought out in an article now that Valdez Scantling made Aaron Rodgers mad and he disappeared at the second half of the season. He was nowhere to be seen because yeah. A Rodgers didn't want to throw in the ball. And well, he it, must really hate Jamal Moore because he <laughs> But you know, so I think he hates everybody. I I've really with this you, I mean you could do this a million times. Like LaCron Treadwell got drafted in the first round. Stephon Diggs is and Adam Thielen was an undrafted right. player. Stephon Diggs got drafted in the fifth round. Like right. get, at the end of the day, Fuck can you play? it really doesn't can you matter. Play? 
So do you sure there's percentages you can play 100 percent right? Well, the you got the air raid system coming in and the new quarterback and everything that's changing over there in Arizona. So uh, I can see I can see the fit. I see I like Isabella and the idea of what that. Me there's too. a lot of Me there's too. a lot and of I, targets about there's a lot of uh, attempts about to come out of that offense. I think Isabella is a great fit for the offense, but I think Hakeem Butler has probably got the highest ceiling. Ridiculous, exactly. He's right. got the highest ceiling of maybe any wide receiver in this class, and. I'll say that just knowing Maybe you can knowing say DK less, Metcalf. knowing less about it than than y'all do, knowing less about all these prospects. But as I'm trying to I mean, play, you could make up, an argument for me, Cole, too, having the high a high ceiling. I mean, the highest. Sure, cause but he's it, in it. He's because he's got Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, but, but like, but when you see I mean, Paris has got Andy Andrew Luck. So, but you get yeah, DK Metcalf has a high ceiling too. But if you put together what happens in the NFL and how it works, this dude is he's not 240 pounds. And you know pushes people off the line of scrimmage on the ground like DK, but he can. But, you, but he can. All you gotta do, but he can. He's still two thirty. And, and then all you gotta do is watch that whip route that is you know gone viral. You know you and you see his agility, and you put that together with the fact that he's six five two twenty seven, and you're like, all right, this guy yep. he he's he's flexible too, right. not just big and fast. And he gets after it in the blocking game. That means sure. he cares. He cares about each snap and each play. He's putting in work, crushing blocking downfield. Yeah, and I mean he's he brings size over there. Like he's gonna be a red zone threat immediately. Right. I think. When Larry's like, gone, there's no one over six feet there. I, mean, I don't know how Kirk? big. I forget how big Kirk is, but I don't think he's very big. close to six. But not, not he's not six five. Sure, and you know what? For a guy who's overcome a lot, and the fact that he gets a year with Larry. And so does right. Isabella, and then Christian Kirk gets a second year with Larry. Like, good for all those guys, just as just as men. And yep. we'll see X if that can. Sometimes when you see a guy, you know, get some things together, it shows up on the field too. Because like, how many times have you heard that interview with Mike Vick? He's like, oh, I never, you know, there was a thousand dollars in one of those DVDs that Coach Jim Moore gave him, right. and he never found never, it never because found he it didn't he open it up. It. Yeah. He never opened it up. So maybe with Larry over there showing these boys how to be pros, they all have to learn a new system. So, you know, Larry's got to go back to the grind here a little bit too, which probably and, is rejuvenating. And I just I, I think if he could get on the field with what how Kyler can move around and what he can do, like Butler's going to be an easy – out for Kyler Murray down the field here. Love it, love it. I like the ceiling. And Ke- I like- and people like Keyshawn Johnson to get on the field because he's better route runner right off the rip. We'll, we'll see about that. Yeah, yeah. And they, you know what? Like this is not the type of pick where you're like, all right, well, I'm drafting Keem Butler, and I'm gonna take him when you draft him and he pops up on your bench. You get insert him into the dra- starting lineup. That's not what. That's right. not what I'm drafting here. I told you if I'm drafting for starting week one, I'm drafting Debo. But if I'm drafting for where is my ceiling and yeah. where what if this is if I'm swinging and I miss I fall out of my boots okay but if I make contact chicks dig the long ball yeah I can get on board with Hakeem Butler there's not too many receivers down here that you're plugging and playing right now maybe you could say that you'd be okay with Isabella right off the rip of getting you some PPR maybe. floor maybe uh, but Hollywood Brown like scares the lights out of me I mean Miles ball, Miles maybe. Boykin I mean I guess you could make a little bit JJ Arcega Whiteside might not even really see much of a field for a little while Nicole right. Hardman maybe maybe yeah. um but you know there's, there's just a lot of ifs and maybes and a lot of guys who it might be a minute before you're comfortable with putting them in your lineup so take the guy who you like Jay Wayne let's go all right well let's take another quick short break and we'll be back with pick 111 for your pleasure 